Are you ready to take your OET listening skills to the next level? In today's lesson, we're going to take another look at patient consultations in order to prepare you for part A of the OET listening examination, one of the most crucial parts of the examination for healthcare professionals. Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Learning English Pro, where I help healthcare professionals like you to improve their English and achieve their career goals. This lesson is part of my ongoing OET listening series, where I walk you through mock consultations and prepare you for the OET listening exam. Today, you'll listen to a healthcare professional taking a patient's medical history. You'll need to extract specific information and fill in the gaps in a set of notes. If you're a student member of the channel, you can download the PDF guide for this lesson. It includes the questions, answer key, and the full transcript of the consultation. If you're not a member yet, you can click the link in the video description to join. So just to give you a quick overview of how the lesson is structured. You'll have 30 seconds to look at the questions and read over them and prepare for the audio. The audio will then begin while you still have the questions on the screen in front of you. You'll need to listen out for key information and fill in that information in the gaps in the sentences provided. The sentences or questions follow the course of the story. So as you listen along, you'll be able to fill in the answers. After you've listened to the audio, you'll hear it again, but this time with the answers on screen. So this is your opportunity to listen out again and to check your answers. So grab your pen and paper and let's get started. Good morning, Mr. Taylor. How can I help you today? Good morning, doctor. I've been having discomfort in my chest for the past three weeks. It feels tight, especially when I'm active and I've also been feeling short of breath. I see. Does the pain spread anywhere else? Like your arms or jaw? Yes, sometimes it spreads to my left arm, especially after climbing stairs or carrying something heavy. That's important to know. Have you had any other symptoms? Like feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or sweating? Yes, actually. I've felt lightheaded a few times and I sometimes break out in a sweat for no reason. Have you noticed anything that triggers the pain? Or makes it worse? It usually happens when I'm exerting myself, but it gets better when I rest. Have you been diagnosed with any heart conditions? Or do you have a family history of heart disease? I don't have a personal history, but my father had a heart attack at age 52. And my mother has high blood pressure. Thank you for sharing that. Are you taking any medications or supplements? I take a daily multivitamin and ibuprofen occasionally for joint pain. Okay. Let's take your blood pressure and do an electrocardiogram to rule out any concerns. Your blood pressure is 160 over 95, which is high. We'll need to address that. That sounds serious. It's something we'll monitor closely. In the meantime, I recommend avoiding heavy lifting and strenuous exercise. I'll also prescribe a beta blocker to help lower your blood pressure and reduce strain on your heart. All right, I'll make sure to follow your advice. I'd like you to see a heart specialist for further evaluation. I'll refer you to Dr. Stein at the cardiology clinic. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Let's book a follow-up in two weeks to check on your progress and see how you're responding to the medication. Good morning, Mr. Taylor. How can I help you today? 
Good morning, doctor. I've been having discomfort in my chest for the past three weeks. It feels tight, especially when I'm active, and I've also been feeling short of breath. I see. Does the pain spread anywhere else? Like your arms or jaw? Yes, sometimes it spreads to my left arm, especially after climbing stairs or carrying something heavy. That's important to know. Have you had any other symptoms? Like feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or sweating? Yes, actually. I've felt lightheaded a few times and I sometimes break out in a sweat for no reason. Have you noticed anything that triggers the pain or makes it worse? It usually happens when I'm exerting myself, but it gets better when I rest. Have you been diagnosed with any heart conditions or do you have a family history of heart disease? I don't have a personal history, but my father had a heart attack at age 52 and my mother has high blood pressure. Thank you for sharing that. Are you taking any medications or supplements? I take a daily multivitamin and ibuprofen occasionally for joint pain. Okay, let's take your blood pressure and do an electrocardiogram to rule out any concerns. Your blood pressure is 160 over 95, which is high. We'll need to address that. That sounds serious. It's something we'll monitor closely. In the meantime, I recommend avoiding heavy lifting and strenuous exercise. I'll also prescribe a beta blocker to help lower your blood pressure and reduce strain on your heart. All right, I'll make sure to follow your advice. I'd like you to see a heart specialist for further evaluation. I'll refer you to Dr. Stein at the cardiology clinic. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Let's book a follow-up in two weeks to check on your progress and see how you're responding to the medication. Well done. Practicing realistic listening exercises like this one is a great way to prepare for the OET examination. If you're a student member, don't forget to download your PDF guide for this lesson. And if you want to join, the link is in the video description below. If you want to try another OET listening examination, click this video here and give another one a go. This is Learning English Pro and I'm Jer and I'll see you in the next lesson.